If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out, man. So <laughs> it's just been released, man. It's reported that William Zapata, you know, the same guy that, uh, you know, he had an emergency or he had some type of legitimate reason as to why he couldn't fight Shakur. Bullshit! Bullshit! Next, you know, suddenly his comeback and it's been reported that he will be fighting November 16th in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh specifically, against either George Ferocious Cambosis or Tevin Farmer. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. You know what I'm saying? It <laughs> And, but this is cool though. I'm not even tripping because it's right on schedule, right on time uh, uh, for the Shakur fight. Because guess what? You know, Shakur just recently signed the two fight deal with Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? Earn with Hearn. And the, the plan was what? To fight Joe Cordina, then potentially fight William Zapata in February of 2025. Good Lord willing, you know? So right on schedule. Nat and naturally, William Zapata is going to fight, have a fight in the interim as well. But those people that were. Uh, that were speculating and saying that oh Zapata didn't want to fight till next year and he was avoiding Shakur or 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 or, or, or this is a major disappointment or somebody fumbled the bag. Well, well, I mean I don't think Zapata really had a legitimate reason, you know, but they were just trying to build the fight, you know, and that's a legitimate reason to me. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? But you know, I want to ask y'all, you know, all the hoopla about Boots and Boots and Brian Norman. Huh, if William Zapata, who's more popular than Brian Norman, and, and, and Shakur Stevenson, if they want to build up a fight to gain more momentum, gain more interest, and you're okay with that, what about Brian Norman <laughs> and Boots? Why are you not okay with them building the fight and building up the intrigue? Why is it any different? Why aren't you irate about that? That's just that's that, that's just it's just a thought provoking question. That's all. I just want to know. But anyway, back to the topic. You know, Williams and Pate is going to be either either fighting Tevin Farmer. He's either going to fight Tevin Farmer or George Campos. Both are good fights to me. You know, I think Zapata wins both. Um, but I, I think if it's in order to further and more effectively prepare you for Shakur, then I think Tevin Farmer is a more appropriate guy to fight because I, stylistically, he's closer to Shakur than George Cambosis, you know. Uh, uh, Tevin Farmer is a slick fighter and he's just coming off of a win, sorry, coming off of a loss, a close loss, controversial loss to Raymond Morotala. So I think if you want to have a fight that could better prepare you for Shakur, then I think Tevin Farmer is it. But if you want a fight that's more interesting, more intriguing, and, and it'll be more popular, uh, amongst the people, the boxing crowd, and the you know the general consensus, it would be George Cambosis because George Cambosis has a whole nation behind him. You know, being Australian, <clears throat> being Australian, and be, being the former man of Australia before you know he had his recent losses. You know. I guess Lomachenko was his last loss uh, by stoppage, and of course Devin Haney uh, uh, even more famously. So um, yeah, man, I think that I who you ask if you ask me who do I think he's going to fight? I think he's going to fight Cambosis. I think that's that's uh, the, has a more earning potential, like we said, and I think it's a more popular fight. And if you're trying to build intrigue for the future potential Shakur and Zapata fight, then I think that that fight will do it more effectively than Tevin Farmer. But like I said, the one the fight that I think will more more so prepare you for Shakur, which I don't think either, of the, either, let me be clear, I don't think either one of them effectively prepare you for Shakur. I think he's better than, much better than both, but stylistically speaking, the one that would give you more preparation for a potential Shakur bout would be the slicker Tevin Farmer. Um, so we'll see who he goes with. I believe that he'll go with Cambosas right now today, but we can expect William Zapata back in the ring, the number one mandatory in the WBC, WBO, IBF, and WBA. He'll be fighting against George Cambosas or Tevin Farmer on November 16th, and, and I think Zapata's going to win and I think Shakur is going to be Joe Cordina now let's see after those things both transpire hopefully they both win and no up upsets let's see if the future showdown between Zapata and Shakur actually comes into fruition in February uh, of, of 2025 good Lord willing man y'all let me know what y'all think about in the comments uh is Zapata even more of a duck do you care do you think this is right on schedule with the two fight deal so you're okay with it I'm pretty much okay with it I just wish people would be consistent when it comes to fighters building up their uh, uh building up their catalog and their profile before fighting you know what I'm saying? That's because that's what these two big stars in Shakur and Zapata are doing. You know, so why is it not OK that Brian and Norman and Boots and other fighters like that do the same thing? You know what I'm saying? You got to ask yourself, do some soul searching. But I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.